Hello friends, welcome to our today's session. In this series, we are covering basics of Apache Spark and in our today's video, we will see a topic on how to add an external package into our Spark interactive session. So this will be handy when we are making a development in our local or else in our Unix platform or else uh, we need to debug some issues in production. Then most of the times we will rely on Spark interactive session. Uh, we have to debug it through Spark interactive session to understand what is the issues. So for that, if there is any external packages needed, uh, then we can't directly go ahead with the Spark shell or else PySpark and uh, use that package. We have to have some predefined steps followed to have that packages into our session. So this video will cover how to add those packages into our session uh, so that we can use that in our analysis. And uh, in our earlier video, uh, we had seen the same topic on how to add external package uh, to our Databricks environment. Uh, we had taken uh, how we can add an external uh, XML package and read the XML file. So we will see the same uh, use case here as well. We will take one XML file and go ahead and uh, try to add the external package and read that XML file. And if you are, uh, if you haven't watched that video, I will give that an I button. Please go ahead and watch that video. Uh, for now, let us uh, move ahead with the today's session. So I will use my local configuration. I am going to use Kala version of uh, 2.11.12 and Spark version of 2.4, which is in my local configuration. So that being said, let us move on to today's demo. So I have already set up the Spark in my local machine and I'm going to use that configuration. I have opened the Anaconda command prompt here and uh, this is the xml package that we are going to import the external xml package as we saw in our earlier video the same thing and the file is also pretty much it is also the same uh, along with some few records i have added it and uh, if i will show you uh, so if i use dir command here you can see this is the xml file that i have placed in the same path now let us uh, try using the same command uh, read it in our interactive shell in our PySpark without importing any packages uh, without any method just by simply calling the PySpark uh, open an interactive session and run this uh, command that's what we are going to do and let us observe what is the error message that we are going to get so I'm copy pasting it and simply running it and once I hit it it is already throwing error message and the error is on you can see the class not found and the failure to find the data source this is what the error message is so obviously if this is the error message then we need to import the package into our session and for importing it we do have a couple of methods so before that let me open the maven repository so this is the repository where we will have all the libraries that we need all the external packages that we need and uh, since we are going to use Databricks uh, external package for XML, so I am already into the, into the space. Here you can see. So here under uh, uh, com dot Databricks Spark XML, we will see all the versions that is uh, related to the XML and related to the Scala. So my version of Scala that I am using is 2.11. So I have to use the same version. So please check the version that you are using for uh, Spark Scala. So same version you have to go ahead and download. So click on this and uh, there are a couple of methods as I told. Uh, one is to directly import this package using the internet. So if you have a, a good internet connection in your server as well as you don't have any restrictions from your company site, then you can uh, directly go ahead and use a command called hyphen hyphen package. Uh, which will uh, download the package from the Maven repository and import it into our interactive session. So that is one method. And uh, if there is a uh, poor network connection or else if you don't have any access uh, to uh, internet in your server or else uh, you have some proxy settings that has to be made, at that case you will not be able to download this uh, file through internet, jar file through internet. So at that time what you have to do is you have to manually download this jar file. You can see a link here under files, you can see pom or jar. So you can download the jar file, place it in your server and uh, refer to that path while giving the 
uh, while opening the session interactively. So we will see both the methods. First one, here you can see in the URL, I am copying this com databricks XML uh, 0 0.13 version and uh, let me open the notepad here. So here I have already pasted it, but let me paste it again and instead of slash change it to colon. So this is the only change that you need to make and uh, before uh, importing this, let me close this parse session first. Let me clear the window and uh, if we put PySpark hyphen hyphen help so it will show all the commands that can go with PySpark and uh, the command that I wanted to show you here is the two things one is jar and another one is package these are all the two methods we can implement it either with jar or else with package. Package is nothing but it will go to the Maven repository and download it if you have an internet connection and jars is a file once you have downloaded the uh, jar file in your location in your uh, server you have placed it somewhere in your server and you can use jars refer that location and implement it. So now let me use uh, package command hyphen hyphen package and let me copy this. then quotes let me paste it and run it so I think it is packages yeah so if you see uh, like it will uh, try to download the packages it will it will try to connect to the internet and it will try to download the packages since I have already downloaded it is saying like 4 already retrieved so if it is a first time then it will go ahead and download those things and then it will keep it in the uh, artifact tem temporary folders so now let me try to execute the same command that we have executed last time so let me paste it here and now you can see it is running through and uh, let me display the output as well let me put df.show command so here we go so with this we are able to import the package from the internet so let me close this, close this session again yeah let me clear the session okay and uh, so now you don't have a internet now you don't have a proper internet connection and you wanted to download the package and keep it in the local like if you see here i have already downloaded the jar file and i have placed it here in the same folder itself now i will refer this and open it open it through interactive session for that what we have to do is we have to use PySpark hyphen hyphen jars and then we have to give the jar name let me copy this and let me paste it here and let me run this so now it will not go to the internet it will not check on any uh, online so it will directly go ahead to the location that where I have a jar file and then it will import you can see the difference last time it said like uh, four artifacts has been downloaded and it is already existing but now it is not showing any error messages or any any messages related to downloads so let me again execute the same uh, XML command that we have so again you can see like it is reading and if I put df dot show it will work obviously so this is how we will uh, implement uh, the external packages into our uh, interactive session uh, same for uh, Scala as well Spark Shell as well maybe I will show you one example so let me clear this and let me put spark hyphen shell and hyphen hyphen jars and then let me include the jar file so before that let me copy that first spark hyphen shell hyphen hyphen jars 
and then let me copy this jar file and paste it and executing it so now the session is getting opened for uh, Scala I will add val here so the only difference between the uh, PySpark and uh, Scala here is the val command so I will add the val keyword and copy the statement I will paste it here in this window and you can see the file is getting read and also if I use df.show it will display the output that we need so this is how we will do it even for spark submit as well uh, we will be doing it in the same way only thing is like if you are using IntelliJ uh, while developing a code like for uh, Scala you will be using IntelliJ if you are using a Maven uh, build then you will be giving this in your POM file or else if you are using a SBT build, build then you have to specify this in your SBT build file so that is how we will use it and again in, uh, in, in your spark submit command you will be giving a package or else a jar file this is how it works so I hope you understood this concept uh, try this in your own uh, interactive session in your own package and let me know if you face any issues I am happy to help you guys uh, thank you for uh, watching this video please do subscribe to my channel and also give a thumbs up signal if you really like my content thank you